Hey guys, and welcome back to Afghanistan in the Cradle of Civilization DLC. Now, last time I'll see, things went quite nicely actually, much better than I expected. It was really good to kind of push Delhi back a bit, and just now I feel a lot safer with them out of the way. But we have a lot of other problems on the inside of our nation, and now that we actually have a, a, an okay sized nation, we can kind of defend ourselves with our allies and stuff now. I don't feel so weak anymore, but like I said, we have a lot of problems with vassals, with our people and money. Hopefully this will kind of sort itself out as we kind of fix the nation. So we're going to have a bit of peace and stuff, a bit of stability. Put that down a little bit. Yeah, that, that, that's fine. That's fine for now. Uh, we'll let time go down slowly, so hopefully we can keep a close eye on everything. Uh, what is the supply limit here, actually? Twelve. Okay, we need to we need to change that. Okay, you split in half, and one of you go to the second Ladakh. Uh, this one. Okay, one of you go to there then. So you guys go over there to Ladakh. So hopefully we can kind of keep the tension a bit down in both of these places. But yeah, I'm I'm quite happy with the future now of our nation. Uh, no, I'm going to decline Sistan. Oh, Sistan. Are you it's Stan. The okay. Okay, maybe we should make Sistan our diplomatic vassal. Then we can have two stands as our vassal. Look at that, the stands together. It's perfect. It's it's perfect. I mean, Multan, you know, Tan. Maybe we should take away the S and just have Tan. Any Tan countries can join us. So we'll make Multan our vassal. And any other Tans? No, no, not really. I can't really see any Tans around here. They're just not good enough, that's why. None of them are good enough. Yeah. Um, has announced Timurids as their new rival. Okay, that's good to know. We're happy you're against the Timurids. We kind of need that at some point in the future. Right now, what I really need, though, is power. That's the thing we desperately need. In fact, let's just increase the time. I don't think we have much... We don't have too much to worry about, it looks like. How about soldiers? We can still only create 15 men, that's fine. Hopefully that'll go up in the future. 62%, we really need to get that down. As soon as we get that down, hopefully we can just get a marriage as soon as possible. Get them under our thumb, it will be fine. Once we're married and our two nations are just like, you know, two families, everyone will be happy. Let's look, look around at the rest of the Middle East. So, everything over here looks... Mostly normal, nothing really overtly to speak about. Ottomans are, you know, going along slowly as they do, eating up the things they need. Are they fighting the Byzantium? <laughs> yep, uh, Venice is fighting Byzantium. What is this war then? Venice, Corfu, and Naxos. And that's going to be against Serbia, Byzantium, and Bosnia. That's, a, that's an interesting kind of a triple alliance there. Maybe they can... I, I guess that allied to hopefully fight against the Ottomans. That's the only thing I can think of. Uh, land theft. Many land donations are quite old. And while they're always written down by both landscape and name, may well have changed since a donation was originally written. Recently, the Ulema... Ulema? Yeah, we'll go with Ulema have been accusing several members of the Amirs of outright land theft in the form of encroaching on lands donated to the Ulema long ago. Well, there we go. I could side with them. Gain loyalty, that would be good. But we lose, losing 15 from the Amirs could be a problem. Gain 10 influence. The Amirs lose, but the Amirs losing 10 influence would be quite good. Side with them or favor neither. They both lose 15 loyalty. We probably couldn't do with that. Side of the Amers. Now that's too much from the... We're going to have to go with this one, I guess. Yeah. We're going to have to go with this one, I think, just because we can't afford to lose 15 from the uh, religious kind of heads. There we go. We'll go with that one then. That will upset one of the groups, you know, but that will, that will slowly go up. They're disloyal, but... The, that, that will go up, you know, in, in time. Is there anything I can do quickly? Gain 15 loyalty. Lose 5 prestige? That's not too bad, is it? 
not too bad. 15, uh, 10 influence as well. I don't really mind that. I could do that quite. Let's call it diet then. There you go. Happy, happy, happy. Alliance partner dismissed. Sistan. Well, well, well. Okay, I was thinking about diplomatically vassalizing them, but this actually sorts out a problem. I did want to lose one of my alliances because we have too many relations. Oops. Uh, sorry. Hit the <laughs> hit the stand. This is actually perfect then. That's what I wanted. So we know now Sistan is no longer our friend. They've announced me as a rival. Gained a core province. So you made Timrid and me your rival. That seems very silly. You still got some... Oh, Multan as well. You sneaky devil. Now, I could now break our royal ties. But we'd lose stability. I like having it plus one stability. And I can't afford to spend our power right now on that type of thing. We need to bring the institutions here at some point. We also need to get our technology up. So I can't afford to do that. Um, so I'm going to have to just keep it for now. Um, losing one diplomatic power for now, I'm fine with. You know, compared to how much it'll cost to get the stability back up. Not worth it. Just wait till someone dies. Then we will lose Sistan. So that is the alliance we lost. We still got Trans, Khorasan, Fars, and Bulkistan as the vassal. So we're fine. I think Sistan was actually the weakest ally. So in a way, it's probably a good thing. We're going to get that done. I'm not going to do anything with this power until we get that technology up. These want control of a province. The Ulema. Ulema. Let's give them something. Now, they control this piece of land here. So if we give them that one, because we could go down, but we, we'll, I like to give them ones next to each other. There we go. They're happy. Everyone's happy. Good, good, good. Okay. Now, Kabul is surrounded. <laughs> Kabul is surrounded by the people who could turn against us one day. And we can go up in our technology for the military. That is useful, of course. We get some new infantry. Good. But now we have no military power. We need to just get as much as possible. We can increase Kabul so we can get the institution here. 41%. I mean, is it is it even coming over right now? Is there even any chance of it coming over? I mean, there's a chance, but... Yeah, it's going to take a long time. It's going to be very unlikely. The military leader has left. That is a big shame. But we do need to make sure in the future we can fight Multan and Delhi. Those are kind of the two problems here. They're allied to John Purr. Ooh, that could be bad for us. A war from Multan, Sistan, and John Purr could be a big problem. Um... Bengal Malwa. See, that doesn't seem as bad. I mean, Bengal is big, but they're over there. This is uh, allied to Juan Per. Maybe we should ally to the Gujarat so they won't attack us. Or if I just ally to them, it wouldn't be too bad either. But then we need to get marriages done and stuff. 27, neutral attitude. Minus 80. Too many diplomatic relations. We're most likely going to get one with Gujarat. That is something to think about. But, I don't know. I don't know. This is difficult. We'll see. We'll see. Um, I'm going to have to really think about this. I think right now I'm happy with my allies here. Uh, the Tar and the Royal Monopolies. Our predecessors have wisely used a system of Royal Monopolies to control the revenue from cash, crops, and fine goods. With demand falling, however, we are losing money on these investments. Our overseer in Kabul is reporting they've been unable to sell their stock for two years now and worry this is going to cost the state money. He suggests that we force out subjects to buy these goods at a set, pure, uh, set price instead so that we can regain our investment, a process traditionally known as TAR. What an excellent idea. Gain 12 ducats. Uh, not so great, really. Have to endure the cost. Lose 12 ducats. Okay. But we gain loyalty. So basically what we get is loyalty from the merchants. I think we'll just go with this one. Excellent idea, yeah. I think we'll just go with that one. I, I didn't really like either choice. But I don't want to lose the, the negatives from the other one. So I'd rather just go with that one. You know, that one's fine. We get a bit of gold. We're making one gold now. 
Our vassal likes us now. There we go. See, everything's everything's going nicely now. That's all. We just needed some stability, and everything's coming up Afghanistan. Uh, oh, what? it's gone down? Really? It went down? Ridiculousness. Now, with that, could we afford... We can't afford really to, to do drilling, can we? No. We can't really afford to do drilling. Claims been fabricated to Stan. A new Holy Roman Emperor. Ladislav of Austria. Obviously a, a von Habsburg. Of course. Recalled diplomat from Balikistan. He'll go down to Gujarat. We were enemies before, but I think we can be friends. We both have similar enemies. Gujarat. We both want to see the same things. Well, I mean... You don't want to see Afghanistan become stronger, which I do, but other than that, we, we have similar feelings, I feel like. I feel like we have similar feelings. We could be good friends. Now, I can't make an alliance just yet because we have too many diplomatic relations, but the next one we lose, which I hope would be this one. If we can lose the royal marriage of them, we'll break the alliance and go with Gujarat instead. So, uh, Fars, Trans, Pakistan, and Gujarat. I think that would be a good mix, you know, all in different kind of corners there, surrounding Afghanistan, to take on different adversaries in different corners. I think that could work out quite nicely. Conversion success. We can now see the mountains, which is, uh, I guess, nice. Send them to there. That's going to make the people even more upset, of course. See the mountains down here. The Himalayas. Ah, what a grand... Actually, these guys like us, don't they? They, they like me. I wonder if they'd be my vassal one. Their economic base compared to us means they don't want to. Are you kidding me? Your military, the military power is minus eight. What? Ah. <sighs> Maybe I should proclaim a guarantee. Maybe I should. Hmm. Spread of extreme practices in Kashmir. The late Middle Ages saw the emergence of several new forms of Islamic mysticism. Yeah, we kind of had things like this before. Expel them from Kashmir. Leave them be, yeah. Just it's just, it's just mostly most of these events seem to be going towards legalism or mysticism, which uh we're, we're still going towards mysticism. Leave them be. Because obviously we want to get that extra kind of uh military power. We're not out of the woods yet, we're more powerful. We have good friends, but we need to stay strong and also we need that conversion, you know. It does help us to convert people. So we do want that right now. The missionary strength is really useful. We kind of need that. So we're going to continue going that way. Once I feel we're like a dominant power around here, we can go towards legalism. That'll be very important then. But for now, I'm happy going this way. And we're getting a lot of power just there. Minus... T oh, we're falling behind on everything. How are we going to bring the institutions if we're falling behind on technology? But to keep up with technology, I need to keep up with institutions. That is just uh, so frustrating trying to keep up with these things. All these new ideas and stuff. Oh, here we go. We can now see this little nation. Ladakh. It's, uh, they've got this left. Good for you. That allied to cock. Koch. Koch? I think it's Koch. We're going to go if it's called Koch. That is probably better. But that's good, you know. We kind of just got Yarkand and them. I don't really feel threatened by them. Um, Yarkand obviously is a vassal of uh, Chagatay. But I feel like they're not going to attack us. Um, Ray, wave of Obscuritanism. As a typical response to different kinds of problems, Obscuritanism was a frequent behavior in most nations. Um, lose prestige on national... Let's go for prestige right now because, you know, we don't national rest the go. We just kind of got the nation stable. And Ladakh is still a slight problem, but overall, the nation is now stable. We, we can feel good about it. Uh, what do you guys do? You're like one man. You can make more than that. Subject. Look at that. 31% desire. They have no reason to try and leave. That would be for war. Release the colonial nation. Interaction. Uh, diplomatic insult from the Timurids. How dare you, Timurids? How dare dare you? Naval scrutinage. 50% of their income. But they no longer be called to wars. Granite province. Ooh, granite province. 
We could give them that, but I don't want to make them more... I don't want to make them bigger. I'd rather, like, take a province from them. Uh, seize land. Huh. Um, Sui? Will increase by 15% and become 46. That's actually worth it. I feel like that's worth it. Yeah. Let's do it. Okay, there we go. <laughs> so I'm sorry, Balakistan, but it was an eyesore. Um, I had to do it, and it's it's it was worth it. The price, you know, the price was worth it. You know, let's uh, let's let's just forget about that. But yeah, that's been done. That has been done. <laughs> okay, oh, I need to get up to the next one. They tell us of bronze cans. I'm not going to do this until we get that to the next technology. I have to do that. They lack cause. Luke accepted the offer to become a free city. Nice for them. Timurids. Timurids, Timurids. Who would join us? Uh, Trans, Khorasan, Bulukasan. They've got some allies, though. We would need Fars as well. That would be the only way I could see us kind of uh, taking them on. Now, if we take Core. Oh, they've lost an ally very quickly. Okay. So the Timur just suddenly lost an ally. That is good to know. Okay. Nogai and Sindh. Okay, let's have a quick look and see what we could do. Because we do need to get them off our backs at some point. Uh, this time, hopefully, I can actually find the country. I apologize. Last last time, I was an idiot. Um, I was looking at, you know, V instead of Y, apparently. I, I don't know why. For some reason, it was quite late. They didn't have as much time to play the game, and I must have been sleepy to not see Yarkand just down here with 8,000 men. But enough about that. Timurids. 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 Okay, 16,000 men. That's a lot. Only one more than we have. So, I'm not particularly worried about that. What about Nogay? Where is it? 11,000 men? Trans could probably take care of them. And then it was uh, Sindh, wasn't it, as well? I think we could probably take. I think we could take them on. Seven thousand, pretty good for such a small place. The Indian lands are so good. You don't really need a big nation to be quite strong, and the big nations here are quite strong. Delhi, though, is getting beaten up. Ooh, John Purr has actually called in all of its allies, and they're all coming against Delhi. Now I have a truce with Delhi, so I can't really attack them. But. Multan is fighting them right now, but they're allied to like John Per and stuff. It's, just, it's not really worth getting involved, to be honest. They would not accept right now. They would accept a raw marriage. It probably could lead to an alliance. So that is a possibility. They're allied to our rival Multan. Mmm. This is not. Okay, maybe. We would not be able to get an alliance with them anyway. That is frustrating, but we'll have to just, you know, deal with that. We're making some good money nowadays. Let's go forward. Trans, Khorasan, and us. It would probably be kind of an even war. Like, we would have slightly more men. Like, maybe 6,000 more men. And that's not... Something I want to risk our future upon right now. You sang as... We, we don't need to do that. That's kind of my point. Right now, we don't need to do that. It would just be silly. Timurids want me to attack them. He knows if he attacks me, we get all of our friends. Came fabricated. Okay. Let's invest. Let's go into that. Now we can actually get an idea as well, which obviously is important. Let's go for... What would be good for us? What would be good for us? Now, if we're going to have lots of vassals, possibly, if that's what we want to go with, maybe a diplomatic one could be useful. Um, they might have changed these a little bit since I've last seen them. Religious could be useful if we have to go convert a lot of people. If we're going to take over lands in India, that's another point. And stability cost modifier would be very useful. Um, expansion, you know... Col let's get a colonist in. Yeah, let's go colonize some places. I don't think that's what we're going to be doing right now. Uh, no administration, I don't think. That that's not what we're going to go for. National unrest. Tolerance, you're a separatist. I don't think this is the one we're going to go with either, actually. 
So I think maybe religious. Religious ideas I think suits us quite nicely. Uh, diplomatic. Extra diplomat. Diplomatic relations plus one is always really good. Yeah. Um. Possibly. Trade and exploration. Maritime. Influence. Now, influence would be the other one I might go for. Yeah. I kind of like this one. This one could be nice. I think religious influence are two we should definitely go for. And when it comes to war, maybe defensive. Just because we're Afghanistan and we're the graveyard of empires, I just feel like we have to go for defensive just for that extra attrition. <laughs> I just, uh, I think it would be pretty nice when people attack us, possibly. Just to always have that. Uh, offensive, quantity. Maybe, maybe we'll go for that a bit later. I don't know. I do like the defensive one. I think those three are what we're going to go for. Just what order I want them in. I do have a vassal right now. And we don't really know where we're going to be attacking. We could just attack the Timrid. So let's go for influence of the first one. Plus, our diplomatic power is probably the one furthest ahead. So I think we should just go for this one then. So we've got income from vassals is plus 25%. That's the one we want to get next. We could go for it right now. We could. We very well could, but we're behind on everything. How is Kabul? Let's uh, let's do that by one, and this up by one. Okay. Um, I could do it again. We could do it again. We're at fifty percent basically of getting the Renaissance here. Let's have a quick look. Yeah, it's still nowhere near. So I feel like maybe we should keep pushing that. Okay, let's spend that. And you know what? I'm going to spend this as well. Income from a vassal. Because we do have a vassal right now. So let's just use it. Let's get up to here. Cost of reducing raw exhaustion as well. Could be useful. So there we go. See, that looks nice. We basically spent all our power just then. Um, that will be the f last time, hopefully, I'll probably have to do that. We probably won't do that much often in the future. We're back to 15 forcing, which is good. We've got quite a bit of gold. We're making two gold right now. Uh, Aid al Fatir. The feast of breaking the fast marks the end of Ramadan, and Muslims around the world try to show a common goal of unity. Some believe that the feast is fard. Very well. Um, celebrate for three days and invite everyone. We lose a lot of money. But administration power and all of our neighbors like us that we hate. All the neighbors that I hate basically will like me. That, that doesn't sound useful. Celebrate for two days. Move towards legalism. Eh, we'll celebrate for one day, yeah. I don't want to move towards legalism. I don't want those guys that like me, so... Yeah, we'll just go for that. Fars. The Farsi ruler is cruel. That's why he doesn't want to join. And what do we have here? Multani peasants. Okay. So it's like Delhi. Delhi, did you just eat a bit? Of Multan is no longer a valid rival. Okay, so I no longer have a valid rival. We need a new rival. So I got the Timurids, and I, I mean, M Multan is on there. I think if I don't choose Multan, I could become friends with Gujarat. I should go. Everyone hates Delhi. Everyone hates Delhi. Go for Delhi. Everyone hates them. It's it's the perfect choice. Um, we've lost to humiliate them. The declared war upon Ajam. Ah. Okay, now this is when we should start thinking about attacking the Timurids. They're against quite a few people. Um, Ajam is only Timurids. Also, Fars, Trans, and Sistan are attacking them. Interesting. So if I attack the Timurids right now, Trans would no longer join. Which is a shame. That's kind of sad. Okay, we'll see how those walls go, and we'll see maybe how we could get involved at some point. I could probably bring in, like, maybe some advisor, you know, military advisor. Administration, I think. Let's go for administration. We can, we can afford it. Yeah, we can afford it, definitely. Production efficient, yearly inflation reduction. What's our inflation right now? It wasn't good before. Let's go for, let's reduce our inflation. Let's reduce that inflation. There you go. Faf Jang Amin. And that would be good. It gives extra power as well. That's why it's kind of really nice to get those diplomats. That extra bit of power is kind of useful. 
Uh, wave Obscuritanism. Uh, this again. I don't want to lose any more, you know, prestige. Let's just go for knowledge as power. National unrest, you know. Our national unrest right now is not a big problem. You know, we've only got two places really that are unrest, which are... Ah, Siri now is quite uh, upset. Let's send our soldiers to Siri. That, that should deal with them. They were in Quetta, which was not the other one anyway, so that's fine. Uh, Taquia. For centuries, many of the followers of Ali have considered it a necessity to hide themselves and feign adherence to other religious customs in order to keep their faith alive. Authorities in Kalat have increasingly come to suspect that there are an increasing number of Shias among the local Sufi lodges and would like our blessing in their attempts to root them out. We cannot tolerate heretics. Gain 10 loyalties. They'll like me a lot. Local unrest goes up. Mysticism lose 10 loyalty. The religion of Kalat changes the Shia. I mean, we probably don't really want them to go to the Shia. We cannot tolerate heretics. Yeah, we're going to lose 10 prestige though. Really? Really? I can't afford that, I don't think. It's sunny. Okay, that's fine. Okay, it worked out. It worked out. You know, it it was a it was a roll of the dice, and it worked. So, neutral attitudes. Okay, if we get out a marriage of them, that would be good. Okay, so the next time one of our alliances or marriages breaks, we're getting Gujarat in. Hopefully, uh, Sufi orders growing in popularity in Siri. Some of the more prevalent Sufi orders in Afghanistan have quickly started to establish themselves in the newly acquired Siri province. Okay, move towards legalism. Monthly autonomy change. This is excellent. Local unrest goes down. Yeah, this is uh, this is excellent. That gets rid of some of that then. Good. Let's go with Quetta. We'll get that up. Perfect. And how's Kabul? We'll get this one up. And that one up. And that. I, I just want to get up now. I'm just going to try and get up as quickly as possible. I said I wasn't going to spend all my power, and I just did. I I can't help myself. 69%. We're almost there. Soon we can have it. Spread to our lands. Conversion successful. Very good. Yep. We'll get it here first. And we can convert. It's going to take a long time. But we can get Baltistan to convert after a, a period. How are you doing, Delhi? They are losing the war. Multan. They've still got some big allies, so I'm not really going to knock horns of them at the moment. We'll, we'll just leave them. These guys, I can't see their ally. So I don't know how big they are. Oh, is that it? Okay, the ally's here. They're not really a big threat. We could just eat them as well. Sistan. They're at war. If I went to attack him, Fars would not join. Trans would now. What I want, actually, would be if Trans could not join, but Multan did, then we could attack Multan and Sistan, and Khorasan would help, and we could probably win that. That would actually be the perfect situation. We're gonna we're gonna try and get that, I think. That's what we're gonna be trying to be doing next time, is gonna try and get Sistan. We're gonna wait until the perfect opportunity to attack them. That'll teach them for breaking with us. Though our marriage still exists, doesn't it? So I'm gonna have to break the marriage. A fellow Sunni will move it. No, it seems like it's fine. Yeah, apparently it's fine. There's nothing here that says we can't. I thought we had a real marriage. Did I... Did I break it? I must have broken it. Yeah, we, we did. Of course of course we did, yeah. we did. It did fall apart. That's why we got the extra diplomatic thing is okay. Ugh, what am I thinking? Sorry. I'm still kind of recovering from my illness right now. So I'm not thinking straight. Timrids, though? Yeah. Okay, well, that's what we plan to do for next time. But luckily for us, the nation seals feels very good right now. We've got things going. Afghanistan is looking stable. It's uh, I'm kind of excited to see where this goes. It's going to be difficult. It's going to be tough sometimes, but hopefully we can lead on. And Poland's gone up the ranks now. There we go. I'll see you then.